So you guys have done this marriage rally for a few years now. Yeah. Um, how, what was the main message of today's event? Well, the main message is uh, to go back to the truth of the scripture and get to the founding of our country. And that's why we're giving them each a founder's Bible, uh, which is by author and historian David Barton and the entirety of scripture. But also we brought in Dr. Dal Tackett, who anybody who's here knows the guy's an authority, not only on the scriptures, but also the founding of the country and why we need to get back to those foundational pillars. That's the purpose of today. What do you think um, the legislators are going to think when they receive their Bible? I think most of them will be very thrilled to get them. I am saying even those who disagree with us on a lot of issues, because it's, it's a great resource. As a matter of fact, it's an heirloom Bible. It's fully leather. It's embossed with their name. And uh, I think I, Iowa legislators agree or disagree with us. Uh, they're good people. They, they'll, they'll receive them with the kind of respect that we've expected. Del Tackett touched on this a little bit. You've been fighting this issue on same-sex marriage in Iowa for several years now, and it's easy to get frustrated. How do you keep fighting it uh, without, you know, just saying, oh, let's just give it up and move on? Well, we don't look at it as really a fight. We look at it as, you know, we're standing on, on truth. And when you're standing on truth, it, it, it bears itself in the light of day that we don't have to try to make up different things. A lot of the things that we said early on that people said were red herrings, that we were just trying to scare people, they're starting to come true. A woman wants to marry herself, a dad wants to marry a daughter. Three people out on the East Coast want to get married. Polygamy laws are getting labeled as unconstitutional. So it's not about redefining marriage, it's about undefining marriage. And that's why we just encourage, I'm extremely hopeful today, get legislators back to the truth. When they get back to the truth, they'll understand where the parameters are. And once they recognize the parameters, then we can move forward to what marriage really is. Last week we found out the Gortz House owners have decided to stop doing marriages altogether because of the lawsuits and everything. What's your reaction to that? It's, it's extremely sad. Matter of fact, you probably saw in the register that Ray Kibasu wrote an open letter to the Gertz House. I responded yesterday with an open letter to Ray Kibasu, and that just basically outlines where, what I believe. I believe it's a sad day for Iowa businesses, not just the Gertz House, but for Iowa businesses. Our freedom is tied to our private property. This is their private property. We grew up in a day where we could refuse service to anyone. And matter of fact, not only that, but it's also a right of conscience issue. We wouldn't go to a Jewish meat locker and say, we want you to process unkosher meat. Right. You know, that's ridiculous. Yeah. This wasn't a life and death issue for the two individuals who wanted to have a Supreme Court opinion wedding. Uh, they could have went to a lot of different venues, but they wanted to target the Gertz House, scream discrimination, and make them pay with a punishment. That's a scary day, not only for the right, but also for the left, because it ain't no fun when the rabbits got the gun. Last question, what do you think uh, the family leader and uh, the people who support your organization, what are they looking for in a presidential candidate this year? Well, they're looking for someone with strong character, someone who basically understands a biblical worldview. Because out of that, then you kind of get what decisions they're going to make. So it's going to be their character, but it's also going to be after we've seen Barack Obama, are they competent? Can they actually do the job? They're going to look at uh, the world affairs, our alliance with the nation of Israel, the war on terror. But they're also going to take a look at who are they surrounding themselves with? What kind of company are they keeping? And quite frankly, we're seeing some candidates already align themselves with people that we think, you know, that that's, throws up a huge red flag. And so our job then is to reach out to those candidates, let them know that's a huge red flag, and then see what they do.